Well, there was a big dump of housing data today, so I'll tell the story with charts. First, house prices went up 0.6% in March. Now, it was driven by Sydney, where the median went up 1.4%. And that was all about a 2% rise in the upper quartile, that is, the most expensive houses, bouncing off a 17.4% fall. So is the housing bust over? Well, I think that depends on what happens to these people, the ones who have borrowed more than six times their income to buy a house at the top of the market. And then it depends on what happens to this chart. The mortgage delinquency rate was at a historic low at the end of last year. Now, it's already started to rise, so the question will be how many people will have to sell their house? Against that, there's a shortage of houses and flats. The government's National Housing Finance and Investment Corporation said today it expects a gap between supply and what it calls household formation over the next four years of 106,000 dwellings due to the sudden lift in immigration. And there's a further drop in supply coming. The ABS reported today that approvals for units fell in February to the lowest level in 12 years. House approvals went up but are still close to a decade low. It all means construction will fall substantially over the next couple of years, which is the last thing we need. Six rises in a row in the share market for a total gain of 3.8%. The last time there were more than six in a row was November 2020. Today's rise followed another big jump in New York on Friday. Obviously, investors haven't got the memo that there's a recession coming in the US. On commodity markets, iron ore and gold down, oil and nickel up. And the Aussie dollar is down a tad at 66.7 US cents. And that's finance. Thanks for watching. You can check out more finance news by clicking there. And don't forget to click subscribe down there to get all the latest updates from ABC News.